the fuel excel is going to be what it's actually adding. So I'm going to click OK and then click Add and type in Excel one more time. And we're going to be looking at Excel rate of change. And this is going to be that rate of change it's going to be looking for. So anything higher than 50, that's going to kick in this Excel enrichment feature and uh, it's going to go ahead and add fuel. So I'm going to click OK now. I've added those in. Now what I'm going to do is just free rev the engine with a throttle at this particular engine RPM. Now what I'm going to have to do is add some values in here because right now the sensitivity is at zero so it's not going to kick in the acceleration enrichment at all. So actually what I'll do is I'll bring my throttle down here and we can see my throttle positions here. If we pay attention to this accelerate a change we can see that it's going to be calculating values depending on how quickly I rev the engine. We can see that as I'm bringing the throttle down we can see it calculates negative values. If I rev it fast enough it calculates big values right there. It's 160, 140. So as I change the throttle here, it's going to be changing the accelerated change. So what I need to do is populate this table with a value because as I was kicking this in, we saw that the fuel excel here wasn't doing anything. Let's try that one more time so we can just keep an eye on it. We're going to see as it's going over that 50 rate of change threshold that we programmed, it's not doing anything. So until I start to add values in the table here, it will not do anything. So I'm going to go in and add a value here, just put in 100. We're going to try that again. What we're going to be noticing is, as I go and rev my throttle, it's going to be adding a bunch of fuel. And we can see there, at, uh, depending on how much throttle I give it and the rate of change, we're going to see that it's adding up to almost that 5% millisecond adder right there. It added 5, so it's capping that maximum amount depending on the rate of change. So if I want to have less of sensitivity or less adder, I'm going to go into the table here and I'm going to go and reduce this down. So if I reduce it to say something like 25 and we try that again, it's going to take a lot more movement in the throttle to initiate that full 5 milliseconds of my clamp. So if I rev it here, depending on how I rev it and how much I rev it, we're going to see it's proportional of a change and it's much less sensitive. So it's going to have much less of an output based on how I'm changing this, this throttle percentage. So what we're going to be finding with this particular table is that between 0, 1,000, and 2,000, we might be finding that we have high values here, something like starting off maybe 70. And then as we get up to higher engine RPM here, maybe up to 5,000, we zeroed out. And even at 3,000, we might go here to 45. 4,000, we might do 35. We're going to be tapering it down. And we're just going to be adjusting this as needed. So if we notice that as we're revving the engine, it is adding enough acceleration fuel based on this rate of change, we would just increase the number. That's going to be allowing it to be more sensitive and add more fuel. And if we want, we notice that it's a little too rich, we go ahead and back this off. Now ultimately, if we're keep revving it and keep adding additional value here,